86 car for a previous pit stop infringement. Let's get on with it as we've got, uh, say, of course, I think on pit lane, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Bless you, Rivera. Has he discovered some? Oh, there's a big one. There's a huge crash, I'm afraid, to the back of Claudia Schiavone's car. And that was Rahel Fry who tagged the back of the 60 machine as they were going down the long straight. And amazingly, everybody else got through the carnage. But that's a huge hit for Claudia Schiavone, who got tagged to the rear. And it's another safety car, I'm afraid. Tracy Crone had an absolutely huge incident in a similar part of the racetrack back in March as part of the Mugello 12 hours. Claudia Schiavone does appear to be moving around in that car, which is the best possible news. And as Rahel Fry moved I to the left to try, and, to try and take the overtake, did she misjudge how close she was? Look at how the other GT cars managed to thread their way Ricardo. through the... Was a crash in front of them. It was a phenomenal avoidance. I think he may have lifted. I think he may have lifted to try to help the effectively sister car. Yeah, yeah. He, he just seemed to lose momentum. Well, she made the dart to the left, and if he didn't lift, it was just too late a manoeuvre from Rahel Fry. But as you say, the other possibility is that he just blended out of the throttle. Well, why would you do that? I don't know, but it's uh, that was horrendous. He's walking away. I actually thought it was going to be an awful lot worse than that because the GT cars behind were so close. And in order to miss that, um, I, for everybody to miss it, because the problem is in your classic freeway crash, mo motorway crash, yeah. you've got cars behind that are just unsighted to it all. Yeah, they're going to thread the cars through the pit road because of all of that uh, bodywork from the 60 car strewn across the road ground. I'm sure they're getting the instruction to do this. We have uh, Pit entry is closed. That means you can't stop at this point, but they are going to blend the cars through the pit lane because of not just the car, but pretty much uh, most of the components that came off it. This is Michelle Gatting talking to Julian Andlauer. Shocking moment. And I'm, I'm sure there will be concern about Claudio, that was a big hit he's walked away from the car looking pretty shocked to be honest with you I think Julian Andler is suggesting that Rahel Fry's misjudged that and the net result is effectively spinning the 60 car into the, inside the this is the inside from the Lamborghini it has to take the grass to, a, to avoid the best news is Claudia Scovoni has walked away from that. So she goes to the right, and then she moves to the he left. Lift. But but the move to the left is too late, and uh, the 57 Ferrari was almost hugely hooked up in that. You've got you've got the 59 Aston of Casper Stevenson on the grass. Yeah, that car actually, looking very sorry for itself several months ago in the middle of the racetrack. There's just no space from the racing line to the concrete wall because when you're designing a circuit like this, it's not expected for a car to be leaving the, ro the road at that angle. Yeah. I think there are some tyres get any better at all the more you see it and the, the GR Racing Ferrari did a very good job as well so yep. every credit to Ricardo Perra for going right 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 these cars don't have spotters like you might have in a NASCAR race saying this is the area to aim at for safety they've just got their own senses and it's incredible to have that many GT cars as I say some of them unsighted because